my speech with a quotation I made um, during the State of the Nation address. And um, this was in 2015, in February, in Parliament. And I said, quoting, I wish to report that the Eastern Corridor Fiber Optic Project has been completed. The overall optic fiber installation is over 800 kilometers. The fiber has also been extended to the University of Health and Allied Sciences. And this project will open up the Eastern Corridor to the information superhighway and offer not only teaching and learning opportunities, but also bring the digital economy closer to the people living in this area. And so today, the Eastern Corridor Fiber Optic is a reality as I reported to Parliament. We have developments that are tangible and there are developments that are intangible. Developments that are tangible are those that we see brick and mortar and we see iron rods and everything and we can touch it and say, yes, uh, development has come to our hometown or to our region. But there are developments that we cannot touch because that cable is buried 1.2 meters in the ground and so we can't see it. And yet the effect and revolution that it would have on our lives is far more than any brick and mortar you can have. Because communications is driving the economy of the world today. And so if a government invests 38 million euro to open up an information and communication superhighway in an area, it is far more rewarding than any concrete iron rods or brick and mortar you can have. And so that is the value of the access, asset you are having today. This is a fiber optic uh, network that, as you've been told, travels for 800 kilometers starting from here, uh, Ho, all the way to Boko in the Upper East region, and then connected to Accra to the data center and through there to the rest of the country. When I came here this morning, we went into the switching room to take a look at the servers that are driving this optic fiber network. And we significantly had a teleconference with two of my ministers. The first video conference was with Ms. Hannah Tete. She was sitting in her office at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and we uh, called her and had a video conference. We talked with her, chatted, very clear pictures, very audible sound, good quality communications. And then from there, we called the Upper West Regional Capital, WA, and we spoke to the Deputy Minister of the Upper West Region. And there again, very good quality communications, good sound, good video, and it was a very um, inspiring thing. This fiber optic is going to allow us to do a lot of things. As I said, it's 800 kilometers long. It is going through 120 communities, all the way to our northern border. And it is going through 20 districts. Now, in every district, every public facility is going to be connected to the fiber optic. And so for every district, schools, hospitals, district assembly offices, police stations, you know, just name it. Every public facility in the district is going to be connected to the fiber optic. And so it means that we can do e-government, we can do our internet, we can do e-learning, we can do um, um, e-health. I mean, any application that we want to do, we have the opportunity to do it now because the infrastructure exists to carry it. Fiber optic can carry video, it can carry voice, it can carry data. And it gives you a huge, what we call, uh, uh, broadband.